I am unbelievably excited for this episode. Do you want to know why? There's one thing. One thing that has been consistent in Gumball. One thing that has made me so incredibly happy. You want to know what that is? Andrew knows, don't you? Say it. Say it, Andrew. Say the name. Say the magical rhyming name. No. Please. Please. Quiet. Quiet. I'll, I'll leave before I have to say it. What problem do you have with Richaddy the Daddy? Ah, oh, that chiseled man. He's so cut. He's so shredded. He's like cheese. You can cut cheese and shred cheese. And that is Richard. Richaddy. Richaddy? The motherfucking daddy. So we're gonna watch the episode. Ah. Oh. Motivation. Mm. Mm. What's going on? I've never seen Mr. Dad look confused by the. Why do they call him Mr. Dad? Do you know? Well, I don't even know if Gumball calls him Mr. Dad, but Darwin keeps calling him Mr. Dad. Mr. Papa. Mr. Richardy. Mr. Daddy. It's the only appliance in the house that he actually knows how to use. Okay. Wow! Do the children like Richard? The answer seems to be no. Because every time they talk about him, or you know what, to him, they're just roasting him. Give him a break. He a good guy. You mean salad. It's in the drawer at the bottom of the fridge. There's a drawer in the fridge? Mm. Oh, right. Because that's where the vegetables are. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm confused because they're making fun of him for not knowing what salad is or that there's a vegetable drawer in the fridge. But he wants lettuce and he got lettuce. So isn't that a good, he, that's a good thing, right? He knows what they are. He, wasn't he looking for, whatever, man. I love you. Dinner oh, I thought he was going to say that to the, to the kids. He was doing in the fridge. The diet thing seriously. Sure I am. My book says if you use tiny plates, you eat less. Um, that only works if you have one tiny plate. What diet is this? I was wondering why he just had a single piece of lettuce. I don't like a lot of the foods here. I don't know why that... Is that a raw steak? That doesn't look cooked. Just for a second. For one second, can you imagine eating this dinner? Even if you like all of these foods individually, can you imagine going, mm, yes, I'm gonna have a ham and cheese sandwich, followed by a salad, followed by a hot dog, fish, and a, a donut? What the sh is this? Is that like, what are those? Oh, the fish is on peas. What? Do people do that? Okay, cool. That's a lot to absorb. I also saw that the fish has eyes. Uh, I I'm gonna overlook that. Well, that's the no carb diet. That's the high protein diet. That's the five two diet. That's the two five diet. How that's many the... diets is this guy on? My reward for dieting. Me. Okay, for real, that's me. Oh, hey, Mr. okay. Dad, I like your new roll neck sweater. I'm not wearing a roll neck. Oh, it's your uh, actual neck roll. I hate that sound. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much the face. Of oh, like Darwin's, yeah, Gumballs. No, how did he extend his nose so much? Yeah, you did just sleep for 36 hours. <gasps> that means I missed a whole day's eating. Oh my god. Hmm, it's weird. Since I started dieting, we run out of food so quickly, I have to go buy groceries every day. Oh, maybe I was actually onto something. Cause I was like, how many diets is he on? And he's like, since I've started dieting, we've run out of so much food. Is he eating enough food for all, all of them? Like you do a low carb diet and you do a high carb diet simultaneously, but you're eating the same amount of food for each of them at the same time. <laughs> I'm doing something wrong. Hmm. That's it. Are they gonna I help get the groceries him? delivered. Because <gasps> they clearly see that something's wrong. Let's go to the grocery store. But you just ordered a whole load of food. I've got to have something to eat in the meantime, don't I? Chewing is one of the best ways to burn calories. I. Well, I was gonna say I don't know where this episode's going. I feel like I do know where this episode's going. I'm just confused. That's it. I don't really have anything else to add to that other than just being confused. Although now I do, because what in the sh is Darwin doing with his seatbelt? I thought that was like underwear at first. I thought he was wearing a speedo. That's the same seatbelt. Who, why are you wearing it like that, bro? Although I guess with Darwin's anatomy, how, how the f else is he meant to wear it? But his arms are still up here, right? But I guess he doesn't, Darwin doesn't have a neck. Man, how do people live? How do like the other characters use the car. I've not thought. How does the cactus use the car? How's how's the g gelato get in the car? The cloud. Although I guess it would just float like 
if a car crashes, it, it would just not fling forward, right? It would control itself in midair. I don't like my thought process right now. I'm not a fan. Well, <laughs> I think this diet's working. Okay, Darwin and I are going to help you diet properly. Good, finally, they're actually helping him. The internet exists. We don't need to know anything. We will be your <laughs> For real. Presarios. You Okay, I think he gets it. Hmm. Aww. Bro, what? Okay, I like the show. The characters are all right. Why Gumball just bulldoze all the time? Look how sad Darwin is. Let him say one word, man. Do you have any food in the house we don't know about? <laughs> I, I just feel like watching these videos has changed me. I Because I'm just not retaining information. He pulled off the cover to the remote and those little tiny wiener dogs popped out and I was like, what are those doing there? I forgot that, you know, that's the whole point, Matthew. That's what, Richard's hiding them. I was like, oh, who puts them in the remote? Weird. What's the toilet paper? Is it gonna be crackers? Worse. <laughs> Is, like, He's not been doing this the whole time. Is this a new development? Hmm. Mm. That's it. We're putting you in lockdown. Somewhere where there's no food. Where is it? Fishfinger, do you copy? So, the canon plot of this episode is Richard has been eating too much. He's gaining too much weight for the boys. So, they lock him in the shed. Is this meant to be a positive message? Hey guys, don't gain weight because your child might be psychopathic and lock you in a shed. So that's why you should not eat as much. Fish finger, do you copy? Okay. Fish finger. I repeat. Fish finger. Wait, I'm picking up some interference here. What's Sounds he, like what is he eating? chewing. What's he doing in there? I wanna know. Do you see anything? <laughs> Why, why'd they keep him in his underwear? Like, that just got weirder. Yeah, lock your father in the shed so he doesn't eat. But if you're gonna do that, make sure he's almost naked. Otherwise, what's the point? <gasps> he has a burger! Repeat, he has a burger! What are you gonna even do about it? Oh my god. What is this horror the movie? Is fake. <gasps> LOL! Get out of there. Abort. Abort. Oh, gross! Just saliva. What do you mean it's just saliva? If that dropped on my face and I was wiping it away, especially if it was as much as that was, I wouldn't go, oh, it's just saliva. I'd go, f me, it is saliva. I know that I've locked you in a shed. I've practically kidnapped you and we're making sure you don't eat. But you spit on my face one more time and I swear to God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I should have, I should have just like waited literally like, like point two of a second. But who's got the time for that? Fridge! Oh, this is Why are they painting him as like this guy that can't control anything he does at all? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We use food to trick dad into exercising. Huh, that never usually works. You probably shouldn't have said your plan out now, right in front of Yeah, I was gonna say, like, they're quite loudly talking about what they're gonna do in order to trick him while he's, like, right there. Did they think he was just distracted enough by the food? The other option is to walk, like, ten feet in any direction, guys. Don't worry, his short-term memory is terrible. So, what are we talking about? I was gonna say, why are they treating him like some sort of animal, and then he just played right into it? <laughs> Ooh! It's working! Ooh. But it feels like something's missing. Training wheels? Train uh Nah, we're too old for them. Synth racking crap. I start Is that even worth questioning? <laughs> this is not nice. <laughs> what the hell? I feel like that would be burning nothing. If they legitimately start shooting those vegetables at him, he might die, depending on the speed.
Did they just leave him outside? <laughs> great job, everyone. Working as a team. You're killing it. We're doing great on the diet. Great on the exercise. Dad, stay outside. Don't you dare come in. No, no. Out. I knew all we needed to get Dad fit was a montage. Yeah, and quick too. It was under a minute. So time passes the same in a montage as it does in their real... Why don't they do everything in a montage if they want to accomplish anything? Couldn't they just do a montage of like Gumball learning Spanish and then in a minute he just knows Spanish? What is he? Is he still working out? Oh, he's still montaging. Oh. He'll tire himself out soon. Like stuck in a montage loop. How oh, can you think I'm tongue? Oh look, we've created a monster. No! A really ripped one. You have not created a monster. You have created chiseled perfection. The goal of everyone, the swole goal, in fact. Richetti, the chiseled daddy, is in town and he's ready to block traffic, I guess. If I was like the Hulk, maybe I would too. I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to these babies. Wait, talking to your muscles. <laughs> He is so cut, so shredded, that if he stood in the middle of the road and got hit by a car flying at 90 kilometers an hour, the car would get totaled. It wouldn't even, it would just dust. He'd be still there though. He'd be standing there in the road saying, next car challenger, please. Cause he's a danger to himself? No, because there's a danger he'll embarrass us. Bro, you got like Arnold Schwarzenegger for a dad and you're worried about him embarrassing you? Nice. <laughs> I was trying to run you over. Oh, he's just straight up admitting that he was trying to kill him. Okay, cool man. A little bit out of pocket. Oh, not what I expected. <gasps> that means he's at the pet store. Oh, now he's at the nursery. The nursery. In a mall? He went to the mall and went to the pet store and then the nursery in a mall. Also, like, if someone was pulled in his face while holding a baby, especially a baby they didn't know, I'd be like, can we take that baby away from you? Also, I have a very important question and it relates to a point from before. You see this strawberry? That's clearly like a sentient strawberry that's meant to be a character. That'll grow up one day and be a grown up strawberry, right? How is that gonna wear a seatbelt? Tell me. Right now, if it put a seatbelt on, it would go right over its eyes. Just be like, like, eye patch on. Are there special strawberry seatbelts? There should be. Uh, excuse me, right I'm face. really sorry to bother you, but- uh, It's quite all right, I get this all the time. I'm ready for you to take my picture. What? Um... Don't worry, I've got this. I vaguely remember this scene from an out of context video. This photo though. No. She seems like straight up, I mean, I would be horrified too. Like, I know it's Richardi the daddy. I know he is perfection and he is marvelous. But if a random, very, very swole, shirtless guy came up to me and was like, take a photo with me. I, you know, I, I, I'd be running. Don't know about you. Uh, actually, um. Wait. I'll what did she actually even want? My fans. Yeah, I just wanted to see if you were using this chair. Fans. You mean this chair? Don't be creepy. Why did he become such a douche though? Like I want Richardi the daddy, but wholesome. Give me swole boy without douche boy, please. Weird message though, isn't it actually, if you think about it like, oh, Richard's nice when he's overweight. As soon as he gets cut though, asshole. <laughs> Everyone knows you can't be fit and not be a dick. All right, it's just one of them sacrifices you make. You can take this table if you like. Table? Yeah, uh, never mind. Also, why is he like flirting? He married. <gasps> He's in Paris? What? London? New Jersey? Is he teleporting? He's at the travel agents. By the right. Mountain. Come on! So was he faking that he was there? Like... Because <laughs> he, he hashtagged it, so... Is he trying to just pretend like he's in Paris? Or is he just like, ha, ah, hashtag Paris because I'm in front of a photo of the Eiffel Tower. I wish for a world in which oh. everyone can live together in this. peace and harmony. <gasps> Don't worry, kid. I'll rescue that corn. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> this, by the way, is how I get out of any body of water. If I'm hopping out of a bath, Better believe it's like this. I don't even stand up at the beach without just, ooh, caressing my face and my pecs, baby. The muscles on my lips need to be flexed 
They need to be stroked and caressed. There's still like three minutes to go. Oh, there's so much for Chatty. How is he doing that? And why? And why? Why is important. I mean... There's like 50 thoughts running through my head and I don't know which one to vocalize or if I should even vocalize any of them because, you know... God, look! Look at the way that that is getting in every single groove, every crevice of every muscle. I also like that the corn guy was just like, I'm not dealing with this. Take the water, you degenerate. <laughs> Be more careful next time, big guy. Uh, thanks? Big guy, don't... Isn't the balloon a child? Why is he like, hmm, big guy? I guess that means no world peace. Yeah. Richaddy the daddy out there to ruin world peace. He knew what he was doing. The world can't be peaceful when that man's that swole. <gasps> the parking lot! Why is he just... Why is he just like walking around the mall wreaking havoc? Does he know that he's doing... <laughs> God, the more I look at that face. The chin, bro. Where are you going with my tires? <gasps> hey, stop! I remember that clip too. Why'd he just steal the tires? From an ambulance. That's not a daddy move. That's a baddie move. No. No, he ain't a baddie. Oh my god, why haven't I been calling him Richaddy the baddie daddy? Oh, he's added to his title. The bad dad Richard. <laughs> Be stopped. I mean, his abs are phenomenal, but he has got to be stopped. <laughs> we have a fire on Boulevard. Oh. Thanks. Thanks, Richard. I was like, oh, he's just doomed someone to die in a fire, and then I realized it's an ambulance, so they're not even going to be putting out the fire, but I guess they'll be providing medical assistance to people who've been hurt by the fire, so I was like, damn, Richard, you've just left people to fend for their own after being hurt by a fire. But it turns out he's there saving the day anyway. How'd he get there so damn quick? Is that what the wheels were for? He just, like, strapped them to his arms and flung them around real quick or something and zoomed all the way there? Or did he just run? So he's, like, cut and shredded and really ripped and that just makes him able to run fast, I guess? Or, or teleport. Kids, if you work out, you, can, you eat your vegetables, you get big and strong, you make sure to get that absolutely shredded body and one day, maybe, just maybe, you too can teleport and that's the best ad for going to the gym. Go to Matthew's gym, you'll be able to teleport. Wait, there's a guy, he's taking the hose, sir. He's, he's posing with the hose, sir, sir. Oh. He's just posing with it. He's not even putting the fire out. Sir, for pity sake. Oh my god, bro. Put out the fire. There might be people in there. What the hell is he doing? He's like just going to be responsible for death. You join us here as our brave fire department are prevented. Um he he's holding up the microphone. But his face is the microphone. And his mouth was moving. But then why does he need to hold- Is he just holding up a sign with the logo of the news network? Or is he holding up a face? His own face? Doing their job by a local jerk. <laughs> local jerk. Sir, stop posing with the fire hose or I'll have to use this. A taser? I want Bro. Ah! Is the ta it's not going to do anything, oh is gosh. it? It's just making his abs more defined. Of course it is. Yeah. Richard has become so unstoppable that any harm that comes to him only makes him more swole. You can do nothing. You can do nothing at all to Richard, the baddie daddy. Magnificent! Everything we try just makes him more beautiful. <laughs> I feel so safe in those arms. Yeah, you would feel safe, wouldn't you? Except that he's currently, and I need to really stress this, stopping you from putting out fire. That's... Yeah, yeah. oh, I feel so safe in the arms of this guy who is stopping us from saving lives. Actively stopping us, actually. As we beg him to stop, he still obstructs us. Mmm, what a safe man. You're taking this too far. You've become vain. Remember what's important to you. What means more to you than anything else? Yes, remember your family. Food? Oh. No food. I thought, yeah, food, of course. Is he just gonna go on an eating rampage? Oh, no, don't.
Can you imagine just for a second that you see a fire, you come and join the crowd to be like, oh my God, please, someone help them. The firefighters arrive. They're there, about to save the day. They've got the hose. Some jackass grabs the hose, starts posing with himself, taking all kinds of photos, being like, oh, look how glamorous I am with my giant bouncing peck titties. And then what happens is everyone goes, oh, oh, what are we going to do? We're going to tase him. Nothing works. He just gets stronger. His children seem to come along and they're like, remember what matters? And you're like, oh, well, the finally someone's going to talk sense into him because what matters is doing the right thing. Nope, food. And then I'm assuming he's going to like break away. Finally, finally, the firefighters will be able to do their job and save people. They'll be able to spray the hose as in the background, this ravenous monster seemingly, I'm guessing, devours everyone's food. Do you, do you think there's any coming back from that? Is he, is he gonna? Oh, or is he not? Oh my God, is he gonna go in the fire? Okay, no. All right, I'm, you know, I know that I have my rant was cathartic it helped release a lot of energy but i'm glad i was wrong and that he wasn't just gonna run around and eat everyone's food i mean the rest of the scenario still fucked, but at least that's one nice little reprieve join us here as a local hero has put out a house fire without the a hero of fire department who needs firemen anyway what is wrong with these people? Yeah, fire department's useless. Who needs them? You know who really put it out? This guy who stood around for like 20 minutes taking photos while we're having a hose wrapped around him and then slipped and then and only then allowed the water to pour on the house in probably a suboptimal way because it was just flying straight out of the fire hydrant and not being pointed and aimed with a hose. Good guy. F the fire department, I guess. I'm sorry, kids. I guess I went a bit too far. A bit. And after that, we can go for Chinese. Oh, and we should get a burrito yeah, too. I went a and bit too far. Cream. You know what? I could also really go for a taco right now. There's this place I know. Right, cool, man. At least it's going back to normal. Okay. That was just something. That was, uh, that, and I don't say this lightly, was an episode of a TV show. Jesus Christ. A bit too far would have been all the stuff at the mall. Like you're wreaking some havoc and being really weird, but like, it's just a bit too far. It's not, not crazy. But you know what's definitely more than a bit too far? Stealing wheels off of an ambulance. Preventing firefighters from putting out a fire. You know, you know what? Actually, even at the start, just stopping a dude from driving a car and then like, <laughs> whatever. whatever. Promise me one thing. If you ever end up that, that chiseled, that marbled to perfection. You won't stop traffic and you won't stop the fire department from saving lives, you know? And I'm not even just gonna end up with the fire department. Please don't go and like interrupt surgeries, you know? Don't, don't you know what? Don't hurt people and don't stop people trying to save lives from saving lives, even if you're ripped. That's all I want from life and from you. So thank you so much for watching. Go forth with that advice. Uh, enjoy becoming swole on your swole adventure to become Richaddy the daddy. Okay? All of us, we are, we are Richaddy. And what other way to be? Richaddy, but not murderous. Good luck.